You've come to the correct place if you're seeking rock-solid firms with a high success record. Let me begin by stating that there's no such thing as a business that will never fail. Any business that has the potential to produce a lot of money comes with some risk. In reality, the risk-return trade-off is a well-known notion that implies that the potential return rises with a proportional increase in risk. That's why equities have a significantly better long-term yield than your normal bank savings account. When it comes to high-yielding assets like businesses, returns may typically exceed 30%. However, all of this is fraught with risk. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, around 20% of new enterprises fail during the first two years, 45% within the first five years, and 65% within the first 10 years of operation. But this doesn't mean you should give up and not start a business. You see, some businesses have a considerably greater success rate than others. And it's these kinds of businesses with low failure rates that I will be talking about in today's video. So give this video a thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm and subscribe if you're new here. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get into it. In this practical wisdom video, I'll be taking you through six different sorts of businesses with low failure rates. I'll also share statistics demonstrating these low failure rates, as well as some helpful tools getting started with these enterprises. First of all, why should we even know of these failure rates? Well, the majority of new business owners and entrepreneurs invest a significant amount of time, energy, and money in starting up their companies. If you're thinking about starting a business, it's probably smart to choose one that has a good chance of succeeding, right? Perhaps you have a brilliant business mind and can defy the odds, but I always believe that having the odds in your favor is a good thing. So, the first business on the list is Vending Machine Business A vending machine business is somewhat tied to success. The vending industry has a success rate of 90%. Most businesses fail at an average of 85% of the time. Consider how a vending machine firm differs from a typical small business. Many businesses fail because of overhead, not having enough money for advertising, rent, and other charges. Plus, finding and keeping good staff may often be a challenge too. On the other hand, your vending machines operate for you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. A vending machine allowing you to earn money even while you sleep. And that's a fantastic method to make money. A lot has changed over the years. Jobs are no longer guaranteed nor secure. If you take a look at your local newspaper, if you still read that, you'll see that a lot of people are being affected by corporate downsizing. Today, job security is non-existent, especially when 90% of us work for others. Owning your own business is the only method to achieve your goals. Unlike any other industry, the vending machine industry is unique. It enables the company owner to establish a vending machine route with little or no expertise, while also allowing them to operate from home in an all-cash business. And yes, you heard that right, vending machines operate entirely on cash. A vending machine business also has advantages that are uncommon in other sorts of enterprises, such as cash flow is immediate. From the first day on, you'll be making money. Business is conducted entirely in cash. No bad checks, credit risks, or accounts receivable. A year-round business, no seasonal fluctuations of income. Variable hours with lots of time off. Very little overhead. No rent, utilities, etc. Work out of your own home instead of an expensive office. No employees to pay. You can start this business part-time and still keep your regular job, paycheck, and benefits. Laundromats are another excellent business with a very low failure rate. A recent Gallup study indicated that 66% of potential entrepreneurs are held back by fear of business failure, according to Laundry Lux. However, one research indicated that laundromats had a very high success rate, with around 95% of laundromats succeeding after five years. Again, nothing in business is guaranteed, but that appears to be enticingly close. This is a fantastic recession-proof business that can generate money, regardless of the state of the economy. After all, people's garments will constantly need to be cleaned and dried. The beauty of a laundromat is that it can be run almost completely passively. All of the heavy work of washing and drying clothing is done by the machines, and your customers do the work of loading and unloading the clothes. Of course, you'll still have to clean the laundromat, make repairs to the machines as needed, and collect the money from the machines, which is the fun part. But you may employ others to do these things for you. Now let's look at the second business. Real Estate Andrew Carnegie is famously quoted as saying, 90% of all millionaires become so through owning real estate. Did you know that more money has been made in real estate than in all industrial investments combined? Therefore, it should come as no surprise that real estate investing has an enviable success record of 85.3%. Why is real estate such a lucrative venture? Well, you'll have monthly cash flow, 
Your renters will pay down your mortgage for you, and your properties will go up in value over time. You have a formidable wealth generator when you combine these advantages with the fact that you can acquire rental homes with a loan and leverage your earnings even more. In addition, if you employ a property manager, your rental property business can be set up to create passive income. But you don't need to hire a business to manage your properties. You still can handle all of your properties yourself, spending approximately 5 to 10 hours each month on each one. In my perspective, that's really passive. Now, let's look at the third business. The healthcare business. From pharmacies, clinics, dentistry, and among other services, healthcare is a fast-paced sector with several future prospects. However, there is little concerns about cost, complexity, and uncertainty may make this sector unsettling. But with the right approach, this is among the businesses that will never fail. Whether you're an investor, businessman, entrepreneur, or inventor, you should try your luck here, since healthcare prospects are set to rise enormously in the future. According to statistics gathered by Policy Advice, studies show that in most wealthy nations, healthcare consumes more than 10% of GDP. The same study said by the end of 2019, this percentage for the United States will be close to 18%, so you can only imagine how high it must be now. This is unsurprising given that the healthcare industry is the largest employer in the United States. In fact, the United States spends far more on healthcare than the rest of the globe. The global health industry was worth $8.45 trillion in 2018. Global healthcare spending could reach over $10 trillion in 2022. As we can see from current data, healthcare is one of the world's largest and fastest growing sectors. And as doctors and nurses are burdened with the pressure of attending to a large number of patients during this COVID-19 pandemic, people have resorted for services from small-scale medical centers or clinics rather than queue in general hospitals, mostly for fears of being infected with the virus. I hope you are all writing this down somewhere. Now let's look at the fourth business. The transportation business. If you start with a good business strategy, you may make a lot of money in the transportation industry. There are several prospects in this area, but you must first analyze the existing demand depending on their geographical region. Transportation also includes vital features such as ambulances, medical emergency, outstation, shifting and so on. Furthermore, traffic congestion in numerous major cities has paved the way for public and private transportation to coexist on the roadways. As a result, a large number of individuals rely substantially on transportation. In light of the foregoing, the transportation industry has experienced a dramatic surge in demand. The number of taxis, Ubers and Lyfts on the road is increasing. It has proven to be a lucrative business, and many people consider it as a viable startup concept. It is now simpler than ever to establish a transportation business thanks to the rise of e-commerce, the gig economy, and online platforms. So what exactly is a transportation business, you may wonder? Well, basically, a transportation business is one that transport things or people for a charge from one location to another. A transportation business may take numerous forms, from a full-fledged long-haul trucking operation to a simple weekend side hustle driving for Uber, and everything in between. And these sorts of enterprises have a 76.4% success rate. Your outcomes may vary, and specific transportation businesses may be more dangerous than others, but on average, you may expect a high success rate. The Agriculture Business this is the fifth business on our list because agriculture is one of the most important contributions to the global economy since it feeds billions of people every day. Agriculture contributed for 4% of global GDP in 2018, according to World Bank figures, although it may account for more than 25% of GDP in some underdeveloped nations. Agribusiness, or agricultural business, refers to the manufacture and sale of agricultural products such as farm equipment and supplies, machineries, and other farm-related services, in addition to real farm activities. Agriculture businesses are known for their resiliency and low failure rates. These can include a wide range of businesses, including farms and a variety of associated businesses. Agriculture firms have a phenomenal success rate of 88%. If you have a green thumb and an interest in farming or other agriculture-related industries, this might be the right opportunity for you. The last but not least business on our list is the dump truck business. I bet you weren't expecting this, but hear us out. The mining business, according to Small Biz Trends, has the highest survival rate of all industries, with a 51.3% score. Starting a mining business is difficult and requires a large sum of money. However, there is a brilliant little backdoor approach to profit on the mining industry's stability. Of course, if you live near a mine, there will always be a demand for dump trucks to transport coal or other commodities recovered from the mine. The best part is that starting a mining business does not require millions of dollars. An old dump truck can be purchased for as low as $15,000. The dump truck business is expanding rapidly, which means there are more driving opportunities available. 
Indeed, the dump truck service industry in the United States is projected to reach $20.64 billion by 2025, and that's just for large-scale mining and construction operations. There has never been a better moment to start a dump truck company than now. It's a different story when it comes to running a dump truck business. Companies offering their own dump truck services or outsourcing fleet labor creates a need that provides significant opportunities for individuals just entering into the space, whether it's corporate or private delivery. Dump trucks are very adaptable, allowing you to operate in a variety of industries other than mining. Even if you don't live near a mine, construction firms, landscapers, real estate flippers, and even residential property owners who need to dispose of significant volumes of trash may want your services. And with that said, I'll leave you with this. A business that solves problems will never go out of market. If you're an entrepreneur or planning to start a business soon, look for a problem that others are having and try to address it. Make your company transparent, recruit the proper people, and maintain a high level of ethics. And if you do that, success is inevitable. So thank you so much for watching and let me know your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, you should check this one out. 2022 business models you can start with no money.